Hello and welcome. I'm a man called Jay. I am a musician. As you can see, I've got my guitars besides me here and I've got my big cello here. But this is not about music. It is about the sound. Uh, recording the sound into Zoom, Ecom, or any other software that you're using to stream. Now, many musicians these days, as we all know, uh, the COVID-19 actually changed the way we do things. Concerts are, are performed online, they are viewed online, but as we musicians, we still have challenges. Uh, to get good sound so that your audience can actually hear what you are performing and coming out of the way it is intended to be. Now, the challenge is that there is, as much as Zoom and other streaming softwares are popular, but to be honest with you, uh, these softwares, they are, they are not very good at recording sound especially when it comes to, to record in stereo. But even then, they struggle to record in, in mono. So now, I have been trying to, to see how I can actually record or I can do a live performance on Zoom or Ecamm Live because that is the software that I use, occasionally Zoom, how do I get a sound that is acceptable so that you, the viewer, uh, wherever you are, you get to hear the sound as, as, it is, as it is intended to be? Right. Now, I will explain to you my setup. First of all, I have got uh, a Behringer XR18. It has got 18 channel, that's why it is called XR18. And this is where I put all my sources, whether guitars, microphones for voices. So for example, if I'm performing with a band, that's where I will bring all instruments, including drum kits, into this uh, Behringer. And uh, so when I'm performing by myself, you are going to see this later, later on, because I have... I have made a, a short video actually trying to figure out how do I get a clean sound from my instruments to to Ecamm Live or Zoom. Now, let us start here. I have got a Bose RC505 loop station. Uh, this is where I program a couple of beats. They go round and round and then I can sing on it. I can play guitar on the on whichever loop that I have prepared. And then after that, it, it also comes back again into Behringer uh, XR18. Now from there, then the challenge comes in. Now I want to take that sound into Ecamm. How do I do it? The Behringer is a USB mixer. So it goes direct into the computer, then I choose to tell it which interface I'm going to use on the computer. In this case, it is XR18. Right. Now, but let us bear in mind that it does not, it does not go straight into Ecamm. So I have to use another software in fact, too, in order to prepare all the sound and mix the sound together before I send them as a stereo mix to, to Ecamm. I hope you are following me. So in this case, I use Logic, uh, Logic X Pro, X10, <laughs> of course. And no, yeah, X Pro, that is X10, isn't it? It's very confusing. Now, once I have prepared all the tracks and armed the record, the record button, although I'm not going to record into, into uh, Logic as I play live, but that, that's how you need to activate the live sound into Ecamm. But before it hits Ecamm, 
I have got another a virtual, uh, how do they call it? A virtual sound switcher. Uh, this one, uh, I, I, I use Black Hole. Black Hole is a free software which will, you, you take the sound from Logic to Black Hole, then Black Hole goes into Ecamm. So now you can actually see how things can get very, very, very complicated. And, and sometimes it is, um, you succeed and sometimes you don't, but there are still many challenges. Once you have figured out that, yes, like now I'm talking, I'm speaking into logic, from logic to uh, a black hole, then black hole into Ecom. It works, it works, but it's always, always touch and go. Sometimes it might actually crash even if you are having, even if you have a a powerful computer like I do have. I've got a very, very, very powerful computer. Uh, you know, the trash can, the Apple, and I actually configured that, that maxed up Apple computer. That is the late, um, yeah, late 2013. It is still really a workhorse. But uh, with new software upgrades and stuff like that, it is really confusing. But I have managed to reach a stage whereby I can say, yes, I can perform live on Zoom or Ecamm, as you're going to see. So um, maybe what we need to see or to hear, because I have made, I have made a short video going through the process as I have told, uh, as I have been saying, or, or as I have told you. Now, check out this video. Uh, this video is not about music, it's not about performance, as you will see uh, on the video. Uh, well, I am really scuffling here and there. Some of the my fingers are not really going the way they're supposed to do because I switched from doing music to, uh, to video. But that's not an excuse I should be practicing. Now, let us see the video and this is work in progress i haven't finished yet until i'm confident then i would really like to perform live like other musicians do you know yeah and uh, i let me say this uh, thank you very much for those uh, uh ecom or zoom users who have been actually who have made YouTube videos for people to learn how to get better sound for live performances. Anyway, here is the video. Yeah.
Thank mm-hmm. you. 